No, you know what? That's Stephen and Stephen and uh, TJ. They're they're quite a tandem. I mean, we seems that more times than not we talk about him up here after games, and you know, just a great poke check, and he stuck with it. And and uh, on film to see Stephen follow up the play, he almost sensed uh, you know what Sarcona was going to do. So hats off to both of them. That's obviously that's obviously the ball game for us, which is that's a big win. Risky venture though. Yeah, you know what? But they we're pretty aggressive in our penalty kill. I think our opponents know that. We we let our guys go full ice. We don't like sitting back, so we're we're overly aggressive. I believe that's our fifth shorthanded goal of the season, which is which is a lot. So, um, yeah, just to persevere and and uh, and gut it out like that, it's a big win. So you have confidence in those, being an aggressive PK and having success with that. You have confidence with those guys making plays like that. We do, and you know, like our team speed. You know, when Chris Lochner's out there, we want him putting pressure on them, you know, 200 feet away from our net. We give them the green light to do that. So we think with our team speed, we can come back and, and defend on the rush and then get into to proper coverage. So, um, yeah, it's been a work in progress. But we didn't spend much time on our power play today, but I thought our penalty kill, obviously, we gave a really uh, dynamic offensive team five power plays, and and I thought we did a great job. Good night for Brock Edwards. Uh, set up a goal, uh, set up Ryan's goal, and um, had some room to work in uh, the face-off circle and get his own wrist Yeah, he's, he's, he's uh, you know, when he has a puck on his stick, you just have to watch his hands. Wow, he, his, his uh, tight area skills and the plays and the vision he has, you know, for a freshman is pretty special. So, yeah, they, that, you know, the Condorman edwards conte line really sparked us uh, all night. Like when we'd lose our momentum, it seemed that that line would, would get, it, get it going for us, as did the Lochner line. Lochner, Divi, and uh, Sam Alfieri sparked us a lot. So. You know, it's another game where we win and our top line doesn't have anything except for the empty netter. So that, that's, that's huge. One of the trends uh, we noticed upstairs was three breakout passes, uh, three breakaways, one of them on the short hand situation. Tell, me, tell us about uh, what's going on in your mind when you've seen Robert Morris be able to break out like that. Yeah, I mean, that's in the scouting report. And you know what, that's, that's just uh, maybe as coaches, we weren't alert on the bench, but certainly. Uh, Someone's got to see that they they were flying guys out all night, which is their mo. They're really good transition team, so we're gonna have to you know watch film and be ready for that Saturday night. Because they were getting behind you. Yeah. Oh lot. boy, a lot. Yeah. Iggy made a couple breakaway saves, um, you know, to keep us in it. So um, that was big. I, you know, I, it, it's we weren't. Uh, I thought we were the better team for most of the night, although they're really good. Um, but we weren't great, so I think that that bodes well for us.